Hello everybody. Welcome to another climate emergency forum. We're here in Cornwall, Ontario at Lamoureux Park and we're T minus 13 from eclipse totality. And we've got Paul and Heidi and myself, Charles. And also we have Newton. Newton is here with us. And I think he's getting a little bit spooked with the eclipse. I think he's getting eclipse uh, uh, eclipse fever, yes. Start howling in 10 minutes. Yeah, so, so a couple of interesting things um, which you probably read about is the birds all go all quiet, but I couldn't hear any birds. Well, I hear a few actually right now from the trees. If you look around the horizon um, during the totality, it's going to last about two minutes here, plus or minus. And uh, you can actually see it almost looks like the sunrise or sunset in all directions, 360 degrees. And uh, the shadows are different, the lighting is different right now. Um, you know, if you're gonna, looking at the sun through the glasses, you can see just a thin sliver. Now it's over three quarters of the way block. The temperature has dropped significantly, I have a thermometer. And, uh, you know, it was in the sun, so it's not probably an accurate reading, but temperature seems to have dropped. You can noticeably tell that it's dropping. And it just, uh, you know, the animals are a bit spooked. It's, uh, I've never experienced the uh, totality myself, so, so this is quite an interesting experience. Um, and it's, uh, you know, it only, it's, it's about an hour to drive uh, south of Ottawa, Cornwall, on, on the, uh, this is the St. Lawrence River. It's not the full width of the river, this is Cornwall Island that you can see in the background. And then on the other side of the island, there's a bigger stretch of, of the St. Lawrence. So yeah, there's actually another island on the other side is of there? this island. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where the yeah. border is. That's where okay. the border yeah. right across from the U.S. border. And there's a yeah. bridge just over on this side uh, where, you know, which is an e entry point into the U.S. Into New York State. Uh, yeah. New York State. So anyway, this is really uh, quite interesting. Maybe Charles, maybe I would walk around and just uh, film some of the people here. It's getting really busy, huge crowds of people. I'm hoping, uh, you know, Niagara Falls uh, managed to have uh, some cloud uh, breaks. You know, here we're kind of lucky because the blue sky is coming across now. It's still quite cloudy, but when, you know, as long as some of the sun is uh, uncovered, you can see it, you know, that the clouds really don't matter. It'll be when there's full totality, um, you'll be able to see the corona extending quite a few diameters away from the sun. Um, and that might be a bit blurry because of the risky clouds. The clouds are mostly high-level clouds, cirrus, so they're not uh, they're not too bad. They're kind of we kind of were luck lucked out with this spot weather-wise. And uh, yeah, uh, make sure you watch uh, what's going on on some of the NASA channels and so on. Um, I was going to try to take some photographs, but I you know just go on the <laughs> web. There's really good stuff there. So thanks, thank you. Yes, and uh, we will join you uh, in about, oh, I would say in about 10 minutes. We'll do a very short uh, visit with you during totality. And so uh, we'll see you then. Hello, we're T minus four minutes from totality. And it's getting noticeably, noticeably darker here as we're experiencing the eclipse here in Cornwall, Ontario. There's Paul and Newton, and we'll tune in again soon. We're in totality. We're in totality, and we can actually see some of the planets now. Incredible. It's like night here in Cornwall. Isn't it? in totality here in Cornwall. It won't last much longer. Incredible. Coming out of totality now, and it doesn't take much to bring the light back. Just a little tiny sliver showing of the sun, but that's enough to pretty well re-illuminate the area here.